perfect ballet body. It's a working body. Muscles and limbs that are in tune and are working. You need to have that balance of strength, agility, flexibility and control. You need that really strong, deep foundation in all those deep muscles to accommodate what the classical ballet body needs to be able to do every day. There's kind of a multitude of exercises that we're all taught to help strengthen and maintain these muscle groups. When you're first kind of training them, they're really quite deep inside and they're really hard to locate. You just keep rehearsing the same movements and the same muscles to fire off in the same ways. It's actually kind of hard to say how they've developed because they're always developing. You've got to push your body to an extent, but you've got to be able to dance smartly. Every part of you has to be turned on. You have to know about how each muscle can actually help each other work. You've got the kind of superficial global outer abdominals, but then there's also the transverse abdominus, which is really quite deep and it kind of corsets your spine. When it's trained properly, it really, it cinches up and it kind of holds everything internally where it needs to be. The back goes through so much movement. It always needs to be strong in all directions. That's where a lot of the movement emanates from out of the body. Calves, they need to be able to stabilize and endure you know, a lot of dancing all at once. Muscle memory is a huge part. The feeling of placement, where the alignment needs to be. Sometimes you can't rely on the mirror to see how it should look. You need to know how it should feel. I think it's just that mindfulness of knowing how your body reacts to certain things from a kind of self-preservation and a recovery sense. So as to save yourself for what really matters, which at the end of the day, the shows are kind of what we're all here for.